Yesterday, guys, here in South Australia, we have a forecast of severe wild weather, and some places in South Australia experience a hailstorm. I'm just so lucky that where I am, we are here in southeast, southeast of South Australia. Uh, although we have a wild wind, like till now still windy there, but it's blue sky, but still cold and windy. And but last night it rains all night until this morning. Some of our succulent grower or succulent collector in Adelaide experience a hailstorm so i feel sad and sorry for them because some of their collection been uh, damaged by the hailstorm so but even i didn't get any hailstorm here in my area i still prepare myself so since the sun is coming out although it's been covering by these thick clouds here and there there's the sun, where's the sun? It's over there, covered by the thick clouds. So since the sun is out, I will go in to remove my cover here. So even I didn't get the hailstorm, but still I prepare myself just to make it sure that my collection or my succulent is protected. So, so this is what I do guys to protect my succulent but I cannot cover everything so as you see I have some more succulent over there which are the Ioniums and some uh, little arrangement that I have but Ioniums, Ioniums are very tough but then if you get a big hail they will still be damaged but I make it sure that this area here where my other beautiful succulent collection is covered and protected. So this is what I do. I just cover them with a shade cloth. All I need to do is put a clip here, this one, and then peg it to the um, brick here and then with another peg on top of this this one here just make it sure that it's really deep so that it will not blown by the wind because it's really windy here so now i need to take this one off so that my babies can get a morning sun so here they are they tuck it in all all safe and well there so they're happy in there and protected so it's easy for me to covered and put them because all i need is to peg this put the peg this one is really hard to remove i need two hands to remove this thing there so that's it and then i'll put this put it here so i will not lose it and then i will just fold this one put it away so next time i need it it's just there so and the same thing over here sometimes i put another clip here in the middle but i lost the clip and then just take one of these as well just like that and put the bag there and yeah and then i will fold this one and put it away so now they are receiving a beautiful morning direct sun to maintain their color so see how pretty is this Leticia and some of my Maruba Benetsukasa there you go so they are safe and happy but guys I'm so sorry I'm so sorry and I feel sad to those people who get the hailstorm I hope you will be I hope you can recover quickly. So here my collection guys. They are doing fine. And now in this side here. So I'm so sorry I haven't really tidied up my garden yet. Because <laughs> it's been raining almost every day at the moment. So I also covered this in case it's going to hail. Because I still want to protect my crested Ionium here and some Ionium here. 
so all I need to do is take this one off like that and just really like this there and that's about it so this one is just a cloth guys I need to replace this with a shade cloth when I get time and then I will just tuck it in here like that so the wind will not blow it away and I have a peg here and I'll peg that one like this there. and yeah that's about it and then over here where my tapestry is so it's not getting the sunshine yet a bit lighter maybe 10 o'clock so all I did with this one is another shade cloth and I put a screw here so that it will not blown away and all I do is I'll have to get up there because I'm not tall enough <laughs> so all I do is just unhook this one here so I'll just unhook that like that and then that's about it but say unhook them like this and then another one here there so it's just easy as that guys I will just unhook it over here as well and yeah so they are protected from the hail so I don't mind with the frost because I guess this tapestry that I have made here are already acclimated with the frost but they are not acclimated from the hail the hail will damage them so here they are so I planted this one I planted this one last autumn and then it survives the winter and now it's spring I lost some but it's all right so just like this one here this area here is rotted because of too much rain but they're still beautiful they survived the winter season and um, this what well, this one got damaged by the frost but now it's recovering but I decided to take that one off and move it to the area there that has a overhead cover because because they are not frost hardy at all but the rest are doing fine so so this one is mainly for the hail because i don't want the leaf of my um succulent damaged by the hail it can recover but takes a while so as you see those area there that's from the hail now it outgrow, outgrow it and the air that top there are beautiful so here they are my uh, semper vivum hands and cheeks semper vivum is waking up it's pretty look at the color guys look at the color so beautiful so dark purple burgundy color oh I love this semper vivum but semper vivum loves by mealybugs and aphids but at the moment I cannot see any mealybugs there so gorgeous Hang on. there you go closer look so pretty isn't it so that is a semper vivum I don't know what sort of variety but so gorgeous and there are the beautiful color at the moment and my favorite Ionium kiwi that Ionium kiwi really adds color in this tapestry a succulent tapestry there you go guys my first succulent tapestry that I made it's really looking well so now over here this one here I just installed this or I just put this one up last weekend because uh, I'm just getting ready for this summer but then it will stay this it will stay like this all year round now because we always get a very extreme winter weather 
this shade cloth here will protect my succulent underneath here so this succulent that i have here guys i'm still going to uh, arrange this this is not done yet i just put it up here just to protect from the severe winter weather that we have to protect from the hail but when i get time i will go to plant them nicely <laughs> over here so here here is my if you've been following my channel or my videos i just made this one few weeks ago this arrangement and look at it guys look at this um ruby necklace still green but it's really lush and this one is growing as well look and my Tokyo Tokyo sun so pretty look at that color beautiful and this one is not getting enough sunlight it's turning to green no 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 I have to turn you around nice colorful Echeveria Echeveria Benimusume if you don't have one in your collection guys grab one they are pretty my blue metal it's not coloring up Yonyu Kiwi well it's the second month of spring now guys and we are still not getting a good amount of sunlight so that's the reason why my succulents is not getting enough amount of sunlight they need so that's why they are not coloring up nicely so this is Pat's Pig it's yellow at the moment doesn't look colorful but this one here here this is Pat's Pig as well but this one got a pinkish color because it's closer to the direct sun this one here so pretty and my bronze delight bronze delight start the coloring up so beautiful there you go so that's it for now guys it's just a little update after the strong severe weather that we got yesterday and this one is a Graptopetalum mirinae look at that color beautiful color my crassula crassula pretty crassula now this one here guys is my purple delight look at that look at the color so pretty it's receiving a indirect bright light at the moment but it's getting a direct sun from this area here and look at that color guys so pretty 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 color and then down here i got this fix plant same color purplish color but there is a green on top of the leaf on top of it and there's hanging there and there this side here is my ruby necklace look at that look at that beads it's like a small wine grapes isn't it guys so pretty look at that color there you go so that's the preparation i do for my succulent so that I have a peace of mind I don't have to run around putting away my plants because they are already protected so that's it for today now guys I'm going to see you on the weekend see you guys bye